I bless these 20 some things. Uh, it's literally like I feel like a roller coaster ride. No basic zone. What's good, Stitch Yang? Welcome, welcome back to another Slay with the Stitch Live. So today's video is going to be a get ready with me slash life update. What's been going on, where I've been. I haven't recorded a sit down video, a sit down makeup video in a little while. So here we are today back again. So before we dive into today's get ready with me, make sure you guys leave your girl a thumbs up down below. Make sure you subscribe down below to join the Stitch Gang. We're on the road to 8K and we need you to help us get there. So be sure to subscribe down below. And don't forget to also follow me on Instagram at the Stitch Life. So now that the intro is out the way, let's go ahead and get into this phase. I have a few new products, not a lot, a few new products today that I'm gonna be using. So when I get to them, I'll highlight them. But other than that, everything that I use can be found linked down below in the description box. I won't be really mentioning any products unless they're new or unless I really wanna talk about them. So I'm trying to decide if I wanna close my window. It's Saturday morning, it's very early. Um, but I feel like outside is just getting up. We're going to see. We're going to see for right now. Okay. This is this e.l.f. Soap Brow. Clear Soap Brow. Not too long ago at Target. Probably like a month ago. And I haven't tried it as yet. It's infused with shea butter. So I'm going to give that a try. And I'm going to do my brows really quickly. So let me apply it with y'all. I'm going to do my brows off camera. And then we can really get into the nitty gritty of things and really start talking. Okay. Oh, girl, it fell right out. Mm. Don't know if it's supposed to do that, but I was just thinking this is like a dupe. Oh girl, it's really like a, is this expired? Is it supposed to do this? It's hard. I'm thinking this is a dupe for like the ABH brow freeze. Never tried the ABH one. Didn't really feel like spending the coin. Is it doing something though? Oh yeah, it's doing something. I feel it. It's like waxy. Not really giving hard hold, but it is kind of waxy. Um, now let me do these brows really quickly. So now that we got the brows out the way, let's get into what's been going on, okay? First of all, it is Saturday, June 17th, June 18th. Monday is Juneteenth. It does a little celebratory ancestry dance. Um, but today I actually have work at Sephora. So I'm actually getting ready to go to work with you guys. But it's also Pride Month and um, I don't think I've actually updated you guys, but I haven't been well I'm scheduled now at Sephora only once a month because I put my or try to put my two weeks in a couple of months back and my manager was like oh we don't want to see you go da, 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 da. and I honestly didn't want to go but it was honestly just too much working full time in a school with autistic children and trying to balance that YouTube being an entrepreneur child and working Sephora every weekend. Like I literally would go to Sephora every weekend after I worked Monday to Friday. And it was just honestly too much. So um, I was about to put my two weeks in and my manager proposed that, you know, I stay and just do like one weekend a month, which I was like, okay, that sounds doable. It is doable, but I'm not gonna lie, every time that I have to go that one weekend, I'm just like, ah, oh, oh, I'm sacrificing a day of my weekend. This is why I need to close the window. But I need a little bit of cool breeze, girl. 
but it's totally fine because um oh I should have shut that up it's totally fine because I actually is this like this because it's so hot because I'll actually have Monday off for Juneteenth which I don't know what I'm doing and I didn't realize like in New York City we were doing bar crawls so missed out on that last night but it's totally fine um I'll probably do something on Juneteenth actual the actual day so no worries so yeah I'm at Sephora only one day a month and being that it is pride month I'm actually thinking about doing a pride look I'm actually going to do a pride look I'm not thinking about it it's not gonna be too intricate I'm probably just gonna do some thing fun with liquid liner because that's what I took out and that's that's the only design or style that I have a lot of time for today so that's what we're gonna do but I do have this jumbo well full size air, um, Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish setting spray this is that girl it's the first time spraying it I'm gonna just put a little bit on there just to make sure we lock things in place I do have a little list here just to go through like what I want to talk about but let's get into where I've been see I know I got back from Texas like what was that two weeks ago or something like that if you haven't checked out my Dallas Texas vlog make sure you guys check that video out but girl while in Texas right because you guys were supposed to be getting a vlog today it is Sunday that's usually when I upload my vlogs unless I have nothing else going on girl and I vlog throughout the weekend I get a vlog then Sundays are designated for vlogs right yeah I was supposed to be getting a vlog today but while I was in Dallas Texas my Canon GX7 that I've been riding with for I want to say it's been like four years around four years I've been riding with my Canon GX7 she lost a couple of screws like too many screws in Texas and it's at the point now where I can't even pick her up to flip the screen so my plan for today was to actually try to go to a store like an electronic store to see if they had screws to fix her up because she still works but I can't use the mirror for the camera the display screen girl I'm a tech girl but I'm not I don't know the terminologies for the tech stuff but um, I can't use the screen for the camera regularly so I was going to try to see if I could go somewhere and get them to put in or see if they had any screws for them because a few months back one of the screws fell out of my Canon GX7 and I was able to find the screws on Amazon courtesy of Zay she sent me the link but now when I click on that same link it's showing me kitchen kitchen utensils or something like that so they apparently no longer sell the screws so now I'm like forced to go to an actual electronic store so I didn't get to do that yesterday because honestly when I got home from school girl I was done for I was absolutely done for so I literally came home, finished editing my Golden Goose sneaker unboxing. If you hadn't checked that out, make sure you go ahead and check that out after you are finished watching this video in full. I literally just sat in my house and watched TV. I kid you not. I'm using my Pat McGrath concealer because I don't use her enough and I honestly don't use my Pat McGrath foundation enough. It's honestly probably expired, but um, I paid like $70 for that foundation and I refuse to throw it away until I've, you know, put a dent in it. So, and it hasn't like broken me out or anything anytime that I've used it. So, fingers crossed it doesn't at any point, but I'm mixing it with my NARS, my Pat McGrath. But yeah, I was just too tired to do so yesterday. So maybe sometime next week I'll try to fix my GX7. That's why you guys didn't get a vlog today. If I don't find someone to fix the camera i'm probably just going to use my dgi osmo pocket this girl right here she's in her case but i'm mostly like using that for travel content but if push comes to shove i might have to just do that because there are some things that i have to show y'all in like a vlog so maybe maybe but that's why you guys haven't received a vlog today right but after i got back from dallas girl i like literally hit the road run hit the road running um because i got back on a monday and i had work on a tuesday but i got back like on a monday night i've been running <laughs> since i got back so i haven't really had time to sit down and talk and i feel like i've been doing not necessarily filming last minute but i haven't really had i haven't been in the mind space to record a sit down video for you guys but i knew i needed to sit my behind down and record this video because i feel like i had a few things to catch you guys up on and there are a few 
makeup related things that I want to sit down and talk about or sit down and feature slash review. So before jumping back into it, I figured I'd sit down and record this little quick get ready with me for y'all. And I feel like since I'm going to try to do a pride look, a quick little pride look, it's appropriate for the month. What else? While we're on the topic of work, right? You guys are new. I work in a school. I work with autistic children, kids that are on the, on the spectrum, and some may have been diagnosed with some other things. Being that I work in the classroom, I've actually been thinking about going back to school. I haven't 100% decided this yet. I'm not 100% sure as yet if I'm going to or what I'm gonna do. It's just in my head. There's a lot of things that have just been in my head. Whether I'm gonna act on it is another story, but I've been thinking about going back to school and getting my master's. I don't know if I want to do teaching. I know I probably have a few teachers that tune in and watch my videos. Shout out to y'all, girl. <laughs> Hard work does not go unnoticed. DOE does allow you to go to school on their dime, right? Or get your master's on their dime. But this is from the research that I've um, put in. You have to work for them for I think it's like two years at least a minimum of two years or three years, something like that, before you can skedaddle, right? So my end game is not to stay in New York. Y'all heard me talk about this plenty of times on my channel. Like I'm moving at some point, like New York is not in my future. Living in New York is not in my future. So I don't know how I feel about doing that through DOE because I'd hate to be trapped here longer than I'd like to be. And to be honest, some of the other states that I've looked into don't even require you to have a master's to teach if I do end up going that route. And I'm just here talking to y'all just, just because, you know, y'all a gang. Like, I just don't really know what I want to do. And this is like, God bless these 20-some things. Yeah, they're very... Uh, it's literally like I feel like a roller coaster ride. Like, you know what you want to do. You don't know what you want to do. You're in your feelings. You're not in your feelings. You're like, F this, F that. It's just ongoing, girl. So, I'm just speaking out loud because maybe it'll give editing me some perspective on what I want to do, but I don't know. I don't want to act impulsively either in regards to just applying um, because I want to be 100% sure that's what I want to do. Mm, so, yeah. But I have been thinking about going back to school, whether it's for, whether it's for me to get my master's to become a teacher or get my master's to just elevate myself in another way. I'm not 100% sure right now, but I've been thinking about it. That was actually weighing on my head, weighing on my chest. It was actually weighing on my mental heavily in May. Like May, I felt like I was all over the place, girl. And I feel like I expressed that when I kind of went MIA. I think I went MIA just for a, maybe like a week because <laughs> it was just, it was just too much. It was just entirely too much for me and I feel like everyone was feeling this way. It was just too much going on. I just have to figure it out. I have to figure out what I want to do and I think I need to figure that out this summer so I know what I want to do before the fall approaches us, you know? So yeah, that's been on my mind. Not too sure. If you guys have any opinions um, on the process or have any opinions on teaching itself you guys are teachers please drop something down below please hit me up on instagram i'd love to hear from y'all because i feel like at this point i need some advice some insight so i know it's a lot of work it's just is this something i want to do and um i don't know if a few of you guys know but i have my bachelor's in community health and nutrition so <laughs> nothing to do with education but i've learned a lot within these last I feel like I've been at my new job, new job for like six months now. I've learned a lot just working in um, education. So it could be rewarding, can be very rewarding. So yeah, that's been weighing on my mental. It's been weighing heavily on my mental. I just don't know if I'm going to do it, girl. I just don't know. I just don't know. Sometimes you just got to take that leap of faith, but I just want to be 100% sure because I can act impulsively sometimes and yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I'm just speaking aloud to y'all and speaking to myself because I'm going to edit this and be like, hmm, Stash, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? But I've also always wanted to go to culinary art school. You guys have probably heard me talk about it on numerous occasions. I still want to go. 
the thing is I just don't know what I want to do with that knowledge when I go because um, I don't really foresee myself opening a restaurant my parents owned a restaurant and I know that restaurant life girl it's very time consuming there are a lot of cons and pros and cons as there are with everything in life um, to that business as well so there's that but yeah, I don't know. I just don't know. I know for sure I am going to be going. Whether I'm 60, 50, I'm going. Culinary art school is definitely on the list. So, I don't know. You see, you see, very indecisive when it comes to that. I feel like I am yapping. We are halfway through the face. I'm actually pulling out an oldie. If I could find it, girl, where are you? She's actually not even that old. I feel like, feel like she's pretty new to the collection, but I've probably only used her once. I'm using a lot of e.l.f. products today. This is the e.l.f. Putty Blush. This, I think, is the shade Daiquiri. This is the color Caribbean. I knew it had something to do with, like, DK. I used to love me a Daiquiri when I was growing up. Virgin, of course, but I used to <laughs> love me a Daiquiri when I was growing up. And she is pigmented, so I'm just going to pop that on the cheek. I'm not mad at the dramatic blush for today's look because, you know, we're going to do it up. We're going to do it up. Do it up, 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 do it up. Mm-hmm. I'm going to add a little bit on the nose, too. Just so you know what's going on, what's happening. in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like the work that I did, not much. Y'all yeah, see, like, y'all need to get this e.l.f. putty blush. Bang for your buck, you don't have to spend a ton of money on blush. Yeah, I really wanted to pop that on. I want to go in with my powder contour, LYS. While I'm talking about steps, one of my subbies did ask me to do a beginner friendly application video, something like that, for oily skin. I don't actually have oily skin, I have combination dry skin. So, unfortunately, I can't be the person to help you with that. Um, I figured I'd put that in this video, but I can give you some tips if you do have oily skin and you want to um, preserve your makeup for as long as possible while you're on the road. And the first thing would be to use a mattifying primer. If you can get more of a mattifying moisturizer that'd be good as well but a mattifying primer a mattifying moisturizer again you don't want to be too dry um but it really just depends on how oily you are if your skin is producing extra oil that sebum is coming through then you know that's another story but try to stay away from like the dewy stuff and if you are using the dewy stuff make sure you're balancing it out with some other mattifying products and even with setting spray you want to make sure you're using something mattifying this is that girl the charlotte tilbury flawless setting spray again i don't have oily skin but I just love how it sets the makeup my makeup does not move I was really in Texas in like 97 93 degree weather and my makeup was sitting so definitely look into the products that you're getting look into the ingredients that you're getting as well and yeah but I'm sorry I don't have a lot of tips for you because I don't really have oily skin I'm just setting my face now with my shot <laughs> that powder went like right in my nose with my Charlotte, again, <clears throat> let me just stop. With my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless, she always has these long long names, y'all. Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. Love this powder. Setting my face with it right now. And then I'm going to move into my eye look. But I do want to note, my brows have not budged. Usually I have to like touch them up just a little bit after applying like my foundation and powders and everything but they have not budged so so far I was talking about ish but so far so good this elf soap brow I do it up with a little bit of highlighter this is my Danessa Myricks I haven't used her in a while she shocks me every time that you know I put her down and pick her back up <laughs> exactly my point yeah see it's subtle but like in person mm. but her lando lakes parquet parkway parquet what the hell is that about to call y'all know what i'm talking about i ain't gonna say i can't believe it's not butter because it ain't butter Ooh. Mm. that bridge of the nose yes yes the face looks good there's not a drip of sweat on my nose 
get this setting spray. Also, get this milk primer. This primer is really good, like really, really good primer. I think it's another good primer for oily skin. Um, it really grips your makeup, like it really grips your makeup. This is an, okay, quick tip. This is another one. You guys have heard me rave about this plenty of times. Like the amount of times I've raved about this, Huda Beauty needs to be sponsoring. Huda, hit me up. Slide in my DM anytime. You can slide in my emails anytime because this, I don't even know where I am with this because I feel like I'm surprised it's not finished this yet. I love this foundation. If you're an oily girl, get this one. It's a matte foundation, but you don't look dry at all. And you have to know how to blend it out, though. That's the thing. I personally like blending it out with a sponge. But to be honest, you guys saw me use a brush today. But the thing is, once I put it on my face, I started blending it out. You do not want to sit and chit-chat and watch YouTube and all that stuff when you're using that Huda Beauty foundation. As soon as you put it on, you need to blend, okay? You need to get to work. So, another quick tip. Make sure you guys check that foundation out if you guys have oily skin. Really nice finish. Really good coverage. Um, and they have a range of colors, so tap into that as well so yeah those are all the tips i have for y'all for right now i'm about to do this liner look but i just want to let y'all know just want to let y'all know if y'all didn't already know the first day of summer is actually june 21st that is this upcoming tuesday and i'm ecstatic really want to record a video sharing my summer bucket list with you guys probably while doing my makeup so let me know if you guys want to see that video i think i've recorded my spring bucket list my fall bucket list slash winter bucket list so let me know if you guys would like to see my summer bucket list so i brought out a few different liners right purple pink silver gold white i think this is white yes white to do a colorful liner look before i do that i'm just gonna use my bronzer brush and brush that on the lid so it's not so bare. I don't know what colors do I want to use. I know I want to use this this blue, most likely this purple. I'm definitely going to use this silver and maybe the pink. This gold looks good too. I don't have any yellow. This pink is probably like done for. This is my Fenty pink. I might not be able to use the pink. So maybe gold. I don't know we're gonna see we're gonna see we're gonna see what we come up with we're gonna see what we come up with so enjoy This is where we are. It's not supposed to be identical. It's supposed to be kind of like an abstract liner look. I was trying to add some pink into it, but um, I was using a liquid lipstick, specifically the Huda liquid lipstick, and I didn't actually have a liner brush to really get in there and draw it out. So I used this angled eye eyebrow brush. Um, so yeah, I didn't have the proper brush to draw, go in there with the pink slash red. So I just added hints of it throughout. Very abstract. I feel like it's still missing something though. But maybe it's missing lashes. What I'm going to do is apply a bit of blue. Do I want to do blue or do I want to do purple? I'm going to apply a bit of blue in my waterline. And I'm actually going to use blue mascara it's really a primer but I use it as my mascara to coat my lashes oh 
I'm really here trying to decide if I want to add any shadow. Goes back to work. That part messed up, but we gonna turn it into something, okay? I got my creative bag today y'all I don't get here I don't get to, I'm not in my bag a lot but when I get in my creative bag I start talking my itch but it's a look when I get in my creative bag we pre reproduce a fire look so I'm gonna go ahead and put on some lashes now I actually got sent some lashes and some press on nails from influencer talk about influencer all the time on my channel no this video is not sponsored by them but it's basically an app where you can leave reviews on products that you use on an everyday basis could be makeup products cleaning products food you can leave reviews on pretty much anything every and anything and occasionally they'll send surveys out for items that they need people to review and based on the survey that you complete you can be chosen to receive a said item and the item that they needed reviews for were some kiss lashes and some kiss press on nails so i've already reviewed the press on nails sometimes they need you to leave reviews on the actual brand's website or on instagram or on Sephora or something like that. So I was actually sent some kiss, kiss lashes again with some nails. So I'm actually gonna wear these today just so I can leave my honest review. I know y'all are probably like, girl, we not wearing Cabaret NYC lashes. I know, girl. I wanted to give these away, but I actually have to leave my reviews. They sent you these products, not for fun, but for you to actually, actually review them. Packaging is so intricate. Hopefully you guys can see them, but this is the Kiss Couture Masterpiece One of a Kind that looks lash. This is the style. I think this is the style prep a porter but i'm gonna go ahead and apply these most mink like style that they have and yeah, they're cute or whatever they kind of remind me of my sheo lashes just a little bit just a little bit mixed with the stush lash that i actually have from my own lash brand so i'm gonna go ahead and pop these on i'm like super teary eyed over here um i don't know if it's when I was putting my contacts earlier, I actually got an eyelash in this eye. So, my anxiety starts kicking in, girl. I start to sweat. That's what's happening right now because I was feeling very teary-eyed. These are very cute. I do have to note, though, I cut this one a little short. But I actually love how it looks. Um, so, this one is a little longer. A man on a galloping horse, okay? With that being said... These are the eyes, love them, must, must, must take a picture. I wish I did a reel or a TikTok, follow me on TikTok, at the Stitch Life, follow me on Instagram, at the Stitch Life. Okay, so now let's get into this lip combo. I'm going to be using my MAC lip pencil. This is Chestnut, I've been loving her. Now I know why the girls like this MAC pencil. She's expensive, but she's good. For today's lip combo, I'm actually going to put on my Artist Couture Uncensored 2.0 lip gloss. And I feel like it needs a bit of pink, so I'm going to add my Lancome Juicy Tube. This is Magic Spell. <laughs> Wait a minute, I feel like I want to add just because we're doing things that we don't normally do i feel like i'm gonna add some more silver dots she's cute and one of the things otherwise is a hater respectfully but let's set One more ain't, ain't gonna hurt nobody. I'm gonna add, go back with my blush brush just to get that flush look again. Slow moves. Time for slow moves. It's been a little while. I gotta make this good. I gotta make this good. Let me fix the hair up. I'll be back. I'll be back, girl. I'll be back. Just hung up the phone and I could already tell that you come here home intoxicated. Ooh, so 
Okay, you guys, this is the finished look. Okay, if you go read lips, you know what I just said. It's a look. It's giving everything it needs to give. So I actually wanted to show you guys the flags that inspired this look. I really just went with some colors that you were on some of the flags. Transgender flag right here. Yeah, I can see that blue and pink. I got a little bit of the pink in here and the white. Also, the non-binary pride flag, pride flag. This one right here, you see the purple, no black, but you see the gold slash yellow. The gold is not really showing up on the camera, but the gold is there. I don't know if y'all can see. Yeah, y'all can see it a little bit. There's gold in there. In person, you can see it more, but you know the camera's gonna wash out some of the colors. But yeah, I overall love the turnout of this look. I hope you guys like the turnout of this look. I'm about to take some pictures for the gram because this has to be seen on every single platform. I might even record a reel really quickly in a TikTok, okay? So that being said, I wanted to just say that you guys need to run and get this e.l.f. soap brow sitting. And I actually need to groom my brows like there's a lot of hairs underneath that brow bone girl but they're sitting make sure y'all pick that up okay make sure y'all pick that up and also make sure y'all pick up pick up miss charlotte tilbury's setting spray but other than that i hope you guys really enjoyed this look i hope you guys enjoyed hearing me chit chat talk about what's been going on in my life what's been going on in my head if you did make sure you leave your girl a big thumbs up down below be sure to also subscribe to my youtube channel down below share this video with one of your friends drop a comment down below make sure you also follow me on instagram at the stush life and while you're there follow me on tiktok if you have tiktok at the stush life and until the next video i'll see you guys all later thank you guys again for watching bye guys I'm just gonna go ahead and do I need a closed window? Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and record my intro after I beat face girl. I bless these 20 some things. Yeah, they're very uh, it's literally like I feel like a roller coaster ride. That you need to run and get this elk.